Mexico is very famous for its, its carnitas dish. It's a spectacular dish with pork shoulder, just beautiful, full of fat, a lot of muscle, and it's very tough. And that's why I'm gonna be using a lot of lard to cook this beauty. Now to flavor the pork, I'm gonna be using onions, garlic, oranges, bay leaves, and cinnamon. Now, take a look at the lard, our fat of choice in Mexico. Now, if you cannot get lard, you can always use canola oil. It's a great supplement for this. Now, take a look at this, eh? This is super cool. I'm sure you have never seen this. We're putting oranges into the lard. And listen to that bubbling sound, eh? Now, I'm gonna get a bit of uh, bay leaves. It is very important. It brings a lot of aromatic in most of the stews that we cook. Onions. Look at that. And the garlic guts inside as well. And now, cinnamon. Almost immediately, as soon as you put the canela, you can sense the aroma here. Now the pork, look at this beauty. It's just gonna, it's just gonna cook so nicely. And this is what I mean by, we're gonna braise it. Very, very gentle simmer for about four hours. But I have a, a special ingredient that I add at the end of my carnitas, cola. This is gonna help with the sweetness and it's gonna make the pork caramelize a lot more, as well as it's gonna help tenderizing. It's just a waiting game. Right. I'm so excited about this. <sighs> Can you smell that? The cinnamon? with the orange, oh man, look at this beauty. I could just eat this on its own, but I'm not gonna do that. I wanna remove all of our aromatics from here, because I'm gonna be using the fat so we can crisp up this beauty. Underneath this fat, I have a lot of goodness that I'm gonna be using for my tacos. I want you to take a look at this, okay? Because this is where all the goodness comes through. See the difference in color? This is full of flavor, and this is just lard. But enough about the lard, let's talk about this. Look how juicy this is, eh? Look at that. Look at the juices coming out of the pork as I press it. So now, I wanna start cutting my pork so I can start building my carnitas. Man, this is so good, look at that. Can you hear that sound? Like, shh. I tell you, this is a sound that I like to hear when I'm at a taqueria waiting for my carnita. Now, I wanna make this nice and crispy. Now you're probably asking, how am I gonna do that? Wait and see. I wanna crisp this up. You hear that sound? You're probably wondering, how are you crisping that up without fat? This is why I saved the lard. This is the yummy goodness that we saved from the very bottom of the pot. Now I'm just gonna cover this with that. You, you hear that? And the smell, oh my God, the cinnamon is coming through. Just to finish cooking the carnitas, I'm gonna put them right in the oven. And while this is crisping up, I'm gonna make two salsas. Tortillas. You could not have carnitas without them. There's many ways of cooking tortillas. You can cook them on top of a pan, you can deep fry them, make tostadas with them or nachos. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna toast them. So this is what you wanna have on the tortillas. That little piece of burnt is gonna add an extra layer of flavor to it. And you wanna cook it enough until you can actually play with it and it won't break, as opposed to this, for example. If I were to do this, then it breaks, right? Wow, 
Take a look at this, eh? Delicious. I can smell the crispy corn. Now for the pork. Oh, man. Yummy, yummy, yummy. This is crispy pork. I can smell the cinnamon. Now, in Mexico, carnitas are often served not in one tortilla, but two. And the reason for is you want to really load it up. Look at that. With the pork shoulder, look how much meat we made. So I would suggest you that when you make this, invite your friends or have it with your family. Mm-hmm. I'm ready, ready, ready. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you cannot have carnitas with a guacamole and salsa. I cannot wait to have a bite of this beauty. This, this is an actual magical moment. You're gonna get to see the taco, and in a couple seconds, you won't see it anymore. the crispiness of the pork with my family guacamole. The salsa and the wok, they work phenomenal with this. It's just paradise. And when you go, when you go to Mexico, Mexico City especially, you have to have carnitas. Mm. How do you like my magic trick? <laughs>